Oh, hi, this is Harry Dent. I just wanted to give another general update on the markets. Uh, as people are aware in our book, The Great Depression Ahead, we expected a strong rally in the stock market. We expected a bounce in the economy in reaction to strong government stimulus, which has all occurred. But, you know, this bounce and this recovery thus far has, has lasted longer than we would have normally thought and longer than any bear market rally in the last century. We've studied them all. It's very rare. to see, uh, Most bear market rallies, big ones like this, last five to eight months. Well, we're, you know, well into this one. Uh, it, it's, it's probably going to last a year or a little longer before it's over at this point. And what we do, and, and this is an important part of our newsletter, in addition to all the demographic research and, and updates in our our different longer-term indicators in our research, we also look at short-term trends and help people time short-term decisions or even long-term decisions that need uh, to be timed short-term at, at your best advantage. And our technical indicators uh, back in August of last year were saying, you know, maybe this rallies getting overdone. This was back when the Dow was kind of more like in the nine to 10,000 range. And we started giving warnings, hey, this, this is in our time frame. This is in the minimum levels of our targets, which was 9,800 to 11,800 on the Dow and for this bounce. But then uh, starting in kind of like October, November, our technical indicators started to show that there was buying and we were not getting overbought. And that meant new people were entering the market. So it told us, no, we started warning that this rally looks like it's going to extend. And we've kept saying all along, hey, we said, I think in the last update, this will probably extend into very late 2009. And we finally did see a pretty substantial correction starting on January 19th. And a lot of newsletters and people we follow said, OK, that's it. That's a top. Well, our technical indicators have been suggesting that is not a top and that it's probably going to be mid-April at the earliest and, and probably maybe late May before we actually see a top in this rally. So it looks like it's going to continue to extend. And, and how that works for us in our newsletter to oversimplify is in technical analysis, we look at the dumb money, the people who pile in last in, into a rally or panic last into a downturn. And we try not to do what they do. And we look at the smart money, the people who will buy into a bottom, sell into a top, and we want to act more like them. Well, we've seen the dumb money piling in this rally. I mean, that, that's what happened in January that they really started to showing that most of them had piled in saying, hey, we could be getting close to a top. But then we turned around and looked at our smart money indicators, and they're saying, you know what? These people are not selling this rally yet. And, and it would be very, very rare that they don't at least start selling several weeks before a top. So, I mean, I, this could be starting now in, in, in early March, but that would say, gosh, it's probably at least mid-April before we're likely to see a top. And, I, and I, I'm guessing it's probably going to be more in uh, May and, 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 you know, in our cycles that our decennial cycles and our four-year cycles both kind of turned down from late 2009 into late 2010. But the last cycle, our annual cycle, peaks in May and bottoms around October. So I'd say really the time to be getting out of stocks, unless, unless we get some earlier warnings or something, which we cover in our newsletter, would probably be mid to late May. I mean, you, you, at that point, I don't want to be in almost no matter what our indicators say. but. We're just warning you, our indicators are saying this rally is either going to continue to extend sideways or it may go up to new highs. In fact, our highest target uh, from what we call a reverse head and shoulders pattern, another type of thing we cover in our newsletter, is 1240 on the S&P, which would equate to somewhere between like 11,300 and 11,600 on the Dow. So, boy, if we get that high, it's going to be a great opportunity to get out and an even greater opportunity to bet against stocks and short the stock market. But again, we just want to warn people, if you're thinking, gosh, do I get out of stocks in my 401k yet? Or, or is it time yet? Is this rally over? Our indicators pretty strongly suggest it's probably not over yet. Again, now, we're just making good guesses at this point. That's what we do in our newsletter. We have to look week to week, month to month, and see how these technical indicators change. And, and we may change our opinion. But right now, I'd say it's probably mid-April at the earliest, late May at the latest. So thanks for listening.